So there's a long starting, uh, trying to warm up before the uh, main practice section. Um, they're supposed to start practice about 5 o'clock local time. So they've come a little earlier than 5 o'clock. So they were warned not to go onto the pitch or, er or else the minutes were going to be counting. And so um, they are here doing a little, having some fun, a good laugh about it. There you see the argument. <laughs> That's wonderful. That's wonderful. And this, uh, these guys are doing the uh, warm down here, or warmer if you like. Uh, standing at Kimwe is Ayuba, Koshia. Uh, and there you, you see on my far right hand side, back turn on the ball there is Ibrahim. Mohammed Musaru uh, on the ball is Jeremy Simbe. And uh, the guy running for the ball is Justin Summer. Okay. On this other end, this is a drill. The guy with the head up is having Macrona. And then there you have the fellow who's supposed to be captain. I think the supposed captain for tomorrow, Alin Jai. He's in a little argument that we're having McCurran and over, over the first touch. This is Bashem. Okay, this is Lone Star Coach. The Peter Butler is going to just talk very, very briefly after his first training session today. Um, let me say welcome. Do I start by saying happy belated birthday? <laughs> <laughs> is that a long time ago? I uh, know. Okay, let's hear you all. You had your first training session here today. Uh, how is it like? Uh, well, we've had to improvise because we've been sort of pushed from pillar to post a little bit in terms of actually facilities. Uh, as you know, it's, uh, it's it's quite notorious. There's the traffic here, and uh, through for whatever reason, we've you know I would ch you know I requested a schedule, and the schedule was not forthcoming, and then the schedule came that we could train straight after. Uh, and the uh, um, the uh, Nigerian national team, uh, and then they re um, then said we can. You're not allowed to have two teams train on the same pitch, but then they said you can train. Knowing for well, we'd move to another hotel, and then they said we could train at the national stadium. Bearing in mind, it's going to take two hours to get to the national stadium because of the traffic. And by the time we get there, it'll be dark and there's no lights, so we had to improvise. 
and we so we've trained here at the uh, uh, at the um, the hotel. We've moved hotels um, uh, to a better hotel, and um, it's probably got better facilities uh, where we can actually you know, have a little bit more privacy um, and, and prepare ourselves. But lads have been coming in in the drifts and drags because we've had some issues regarding. Uh, lads getting in into uh, I had, I had they held me for three hours last night. They confiscated my passport. Still don't have my passport. Um, don't know where it is. No idea. So yeah, we've had some challenges. We've had some issues. Uh, but I'd rather look at the positives and concentrate on the positives than the negatives and, uh, and run with those. But yeah, in many respects, uh, quite disappointing. Um, but I expected that. Um, so I think the most important thing we have to do is, is focus, be disciplined, and we've just had a good little session there with uh, it's been bright and breezy uh, with the lads. Uh, they come in, they look sharp, they look eager, they look hungry, enthusiastic, and uh, we'll, we'll have a little short, sharp session again tomorrow morning uh, uh, down here, and then in the afternoon. We will go to the stadium that we which has been designated to play. No doubt the the time will change again. And something else will happen. So uh, yeah, sometimes in life things are sent to try us, and we have to be uh, uh, we have to be adaptable and uh, and be willing to improvise. Okay, um, uh, going forward, the uh, the players that are in will have 19. Very few more supposed to come in. Um, what do you think of that? Sometimes in life, there's things that you can't control. I can control what goes on on the training ground and on, and on you know, in terms of tactics and that, but outside of that, I can't control. And um, we have to be realistic. Uh, that's not my job. Uh, that's down to somebody else. Um, I don't get involved in that. I, when my lads turn up, you know, I'm obviously um, there's a couple of uh, people who have, who have not arrived, so. Um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens, you know, over the next 24 hours. I'm, I'm, I may be following up in the group later on today. Two of the other opponents in uh, Car and Cape Verde, the health of each other to a one-off draw. Liberia are up against Nigeria. How significant is that one-off one draw result ahead of your king? Uh, I don't think it's. I don't think there's any really significance, or you can attach to it because anything can happen. You know. Uh, you know, as far as we're concerned, uh, we're just going to focus on, on what we can do and, you know, don't get too bogged down with the opposition, uh, you know, concentrate on how we're going to play, what we're going to do. Um, uh, I, I've got a team in mind, but I can't really sort of name that team until I w until we've worked with them tomorrow uh, and then we can take, you know, to, you know, have a look at it a little bit, uh, a little bit deeper and, and start, like, really hammering down on the fundamentals. Um, you know, we don't have Jeremy here, we don't have Ashley here, we don't have David Tway here. Um, so, yeah, you, you know, we've, you know, we've just got to be, you know, be, you know, be willing to improvise and, and roll, you know, however it rolls, is roll with it. And uh, because this is Nigeria, you can't change certain things. It's, you know, I'm a respectful person. I always have been, and uh, you know, sometimes you hope things, you know, that respect is reciprocated. Are you worried that uh, four of your players have not arrived because just maybe uh, tomorrow your last training will uh, be any trouble? Are you, are you worried? Uh, well, I think anybody would be worried if, if they had the if they had the passport confiscated. confiscated. Uh, I'm I'm disappointed, but I'm not disappointed with the players because I understand the logistics. I understand the issues that we which are attached to that. COVID, you know, we're living in a different era now. Uh, it's not the players' fault. You know, sometimes it's it's it's, it's 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 other reasons which we really don't have a great deal of control over. So yeah, I just think we have to be mindful, realistic, and more importantly, you know, you know, try and be adult-like and sensible, sensible about the situation. As for a passport, I've no idea where it is, and I don't, I don't know what's going on. And if you have a of uh, four of your players, 
put a few of your videos up there around. He's spoken about it. See. But just one day, are you worried about that? No, I just mentioned He's spoken that. about, I just it. Spoke about that. A I logistic problem, he doesn't have control over that. I don't have control over that. Okay, uh, let, let's look at the past no, issue. No, have you been able to communicate with uh, the FA, that is the LFA back home, regarding this situation? Because it may likely bring another problem when you are about to leave for uh, Cameroon. Uh, I think there's, 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 there's a process that I have to follow and I follow that process and I don't really, you know, I think the most important thing for me is to focus totally, you know, not worry about my passport but, <laughs> but focus on the game. I think that's the most important thing and then, uh, you know, if, if I get it, I leave. If I don't get it, I obviously don't leave but I, I, I have no idea what, what's going on. Let's talk about those five inclusions, those new inclusions on the team. Today, the train here, I'm talking about Justin, Ayoba, Ibrahim, and Abu and the other guy. Did they impress you? Uh, they've always impressed me, even before they came today, because I've done a lot of research on them. And, uh, they're at the right age, they bring enthusiasm, they bring quality, uh, they bring a, a sense of uh, competitiveness to the group. Uh, they're used to training every day and working with, uh, with, with, with with teams and players that are very competitive and technically good. So uh, I think they, they'll complement the, the group that we've selected. Um, it raises the bar. As you could see there, it was very competitive. Uh, we had to tone it down a little bit as well because in case somebody got injured, and that's why I cut it short a bit. But no, i delighted to have them on board. Uh, they're delighted to be here. And, um, and then we... We, we, we roll on tomorrow and then we take it from there. And very lastly, the last time we were here, back in 2012, we lost, we got Hammond 6 1. Does it have any bearing on how you prepare for this game? I'm not the type of person to look backwards, I always look forwards. Whatever happens in the past, we've got to like, look, we've got to be positive. Um, we haven't come here to sit back and be, you know, the, the sacrificial lambs, you know, we've come here to be positive and bold attack minded and uh, the type of players that I've actually selected and I will select uh, will will embody that so I, I, I don't really I don't really look back in 2012 uh, I think that's that's history and you know history we learn from we know the as we say it's no harm in looking back but don't look back and stare Who's your last color? Cheers thank you so that was the uh, Lone Star coach there fading away from the screen. You see uh, in an interview with the Labura uh, Football Association Facebook page, he's there in a little brief chat there with the kit manager, that's um, uh, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy Johnson. Ahead of you there is a hotel the team is stopping in. Um, you call this hotel Federal Palace Hotel. That's where the team is stopping. They've all gone to their hotel rooms to get changed, take shower, and they will be going for for dinner before they can 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 retire to bed. As you heard from the coach, there is a, a training section on tomorrow morning. Um, uh, there will be a little one, and then in the evening time they're going to have a full section at the Tislim Balogun Sports Stadium, which is on the 20 minutes drive away from here. But I was in the um, in the bus, the team bus coming to this uh, Federal Palace Hotel. And I was asking the driver um, uh, from Balagon Stadium to uh, Federal Palace, how long does it take? He said um, it's about 20 minutes drive regularly. But if there is traffic, because Lagos is full of traffic, you're going to calculate your own time. <laughs> and I like laugh and so forth. But it's a wonderful stop. This, this, this team is preparing very well. Lone Star have got a result today in this Group C qualifier that um, Cape Verde were held 1-1 by Central African Republic in Cameroon at the reunification time stadium in Douala. In fact, um, they were, the, the, the away team Cape Verde went ahead first thanks to Julio Taraves and then um, uh, in the second half, midway in the second half, the home side card equalized 1-1 the final score. So the winner from Friday March is going to go on top of the fledgling group uh, but two point difference. So we've been saying Nigeria are strong favorites, but you never say never in football. You heard from Peter James Butler. He just celebrated his 55th birthday. 
on the 27th of August. Um, the British man is highly positive. He's been saying his team is going to compete, his team is going to be tough, and they are going to be attack manner and discipline. So we look forward to it. We look and see what happened. And after Butler had faded away from our screen, looking at the, 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 the hotel order, I'm Ben Gagba for the LFA Facebook page. I can cut this an interview.